Hello game design students. This is the start of a new uh, video tutorial here on how to make a little point and click sort of adventure game. Um, we're calling this one the Ninja Adventure because the asset pack that I found uh, has ninjas in it. So um, I'm just gonna show you kind of what it looks like here to start. And you can see I have my little ninja character and as I click around, okay, the ninja walks around and I have this whole big map. If I run into stuff, We'll stop moving. So I've kind of created this map and it's it's cool because we're gonna create the animations to make sure that the ninja can face the right direction. And there's actually a bunch of different styles too and uh, of things. This asset pack is really cool. So there's all sorts of different kinds of trees and you can make a snow area or a desert area. I didn't quite finish this desert area to make it actually have rocks instead of trees. But those are the kind of things you can do and we're gonna be showing you how to do in this um, tutorial. The first thing we're going to do is uh, work on creating the map. So I am going to, uh, to snap over to a new project right about now. Here we are on a new project in Construct. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click New. And you can call this Ninja Adventure or you can call it Click uh, Adventure because we're going to control our player character completely with just the mouse, with clicking, um, which is pretty cool. The viewport size, I'm going to change it down a little bit to be 1280 by 720. Um, and so that just, just makes our screen size a little smaller, just gives us a little more room to work with, which is nice. And we're going to create that. So I'm just gonna open up a new thing here and you can zoom out and you can see right now we just sort of have a blank canvas. And the first thing we're going to do is we have our layer zero over here in the right. And I'm actually going to move my face over here to the left for right now so we can see everything that's going on over there. Um, we're going to rename this to background. Okay. So our first layer is called background. And we're going to double click like we have in the past just here in the middle. And we're going to insert a tile map. And you can just click wherever. And it has this default tile map, but we're going to load up a new one. And you're going to have access to this Ninja Adventure asset pack here. And we're going to go to backgrounds. You're going to have all this stuff. It's got great stuff. It's, it's really cool. It's got sound effects. I mean, everything you'd want. It's a really cool asset pack. We're just going to start with the backgrounds for this video. And we're going to go to a tile set. It's kind of like a tile map. And the first one we're going to do is just the tile set floor. So let's go ahead and open that up. We're gonna click open. And we're gonna to go to this resize thing right here. And we wanna make it double the size of what it is right now. So we wanna make sure we click this keep aspect ratio. So keep make sure that's checked. And then we're just gonna double 352. Double of 352 is 704. And you'll see since it kept our aspect ratio, it made the height of that a little bit bigger. And so we're gonna click okay. And then we can exit out of this. We're gonna go over to our tile map here in the bottom right. And now you can see that our little tile set here is able to select certain tiles. And you can choose what you want here. We kind of have a desert biome, a little desert area. There's a grasslands area. There's sort of a darker grass. There's sort of this, I don't even know what you would call that. There's like a sand and snow. There's a like a pink looking desert one. There's a snow one down here, an ice one. So you've got a lot of choices. I think I'm gonna go with, <laughs> I'm probably gonna go with this darker green. There's a light green and a dark green. I'm like in the dark green right now. So what I'm gonna do is in my tile map editor here, um, I am going to select this paint bucket thing, which just allows me to fill an area with tiles. And I'm just gonna select this green right here, this dark green. You can pick whatever color you want, but as I click, you'll see it fills my entire area with nice dark green, okay? Now, I wanna add some things to this to give it a little detail, to give it a little life. So I'm gonna click the pencil icon here, and then I'm gonna choose another square, and I'm just gonna choose some of this plain grass here, and I'm just gonna sorta of do some random clicks around the map. I'm just kinda, some of those aren't great. You don't really want anything like really streaky. Just try and do little clicks around here with them. And this just adds a little ground detail so it doesn't look just plain and green. And choose some other ones and just add a bunch of different types all around. Okay, and this just gives the illusion of it being kind of a real sort of place. Obviously it's not, it's just a video game. But the more little details you can add, people might not even notice them consciously, 
but, uh, but it just adds a little bit of quality to your game and that's what we want here. So we're just gonna do that. We're just gonna add little grass things here. And if you're like, oh man, I feel like uh, adding some pathways or something, by all means, go ahead and do that. Add some little pathways. You have all sorts of options here with these tile sets of things to do. Um, hey, maybe you're like, cool, I've got a nice little grass area, but I also wanna do a little snow area maybe. Okay, awesome. Well, let's do a little snow area. So I'm going to just kind of carve out a little snow thing here and I should be able to kind of close it off and then use the paint bucket to fill that in. And then I'll have to go through and kind of clean up these little things, but that's okay, right? Like on my first map, I showed you in my little example, I had a little snow area. And let's do, we can divide this up into like four. So we can do a little dark sand stuff here. I don't know what you'd call this. And we can fill this in and paint bucket it, cool. And then we'll have to get this back and just sort of fill in these little areas, okay. And what you'll wanna do if you're making these other like little snow areas or sand areas or whatever, is all of these have little like details you can add in. So I wanna add some little details into my sand area just to make it look a little nicer. Just some random ones here. And you can see with the snow as well or with the ice kind of things, there's stuff for me to add in. So let's see if there's a good one with the, with the snow. These look nice enough. Oh, those actually do not look nice. What am I talking about? Okay. We'll just add a few little things here and there. Okay, just to make it look a little more realistic. And if you feel like adding another, uh, who knows, whatever this magical fairy land, I don't know what you'd even call that stuff. Um, you can add in whatever you want, make it your own, okay? But this uh, tile map is serving as our background. So once you're done, once you've added everything you wanna add as far as details go, and don't be afraid to add some pathways and different things, you're more than welcome to do that. Uh, just make sure to click this um, right here, this uh, mouse icon, because it gets you back out here. Now, one thing we wanna do once we have this all done, we wanna rename this tile map to background. Okay, because we're actually gonna insert another tile map on the top to add some obstacles for us. So once this is done, I want you to go ahead and I want you to lock up this background layer. Click that little lock, okay? And then we're gonna right click here in our layers area and we're gonna add a layer at the top. We're gonna call this layer obstacles. So we've kind of made our little background. Now we're going to add in some obstacles. And so we have our obstacles layer. We're gonna double click we're gonna add in another tile map. We're going to load in the tile map, but instead of choosing the tile set floor, I believe we're gonna use tile set nature. So go ahead and open up tile set nature. And again, we wanna double the size. So right now it's at 256, double of that would be what, 512? I believe that's correct. <clears throat> so we've doubled that up. Go ahead and exit out here. And then we're gonna edit it the same way. We're gonna to go to our tile map. And you'll notice every uh, little thing here, it only selects a quarter of a tree. So if I were to try and draw a tree, I would have to come down here and draw that corner of the tree and draw that corner of the tree and then that corner and then that corner. And that takes forever and that's really annoying and I don't wanna do it that way. So what I need to do is I need to go over here to my tile map properties and I'm gonna put my face here in the center for you guys. So you can see my tile map properties over here on the bottom left. And what I need to do is I need to change the width and height of my tile. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna double it. I'm gonna make it 64 width, 64 height, enter. And then as I come back over, you'll notice it resized and I can select a whole tree at once, okay? Now some of these you might wanna make a little bigger, you can resize it. So I'm just gonna start by adding in some of these kind of trees, these sort of pine looking trees. And I'm just gonna sort of give myself a nice little border here around my, around my grass area, which I think is nice. And then I'm gonna take this sort of dark tree and I'm gonna do a little, well, I wanna make sure I have a border all the way around my grass area. And I'm gonna do this sort of dark burnt out tree and I'm going to have it border my sort of dark sand area. And then I'm gonna come get this snow tree and I can do sort of a half snow tree that sort of blends and then I can do that on both sides. And then I can do the snow tree all the way around the border. 
Now, the reason I'm doing this is because I just think it makes it look nice. It sort of boxes it in um, so your character's not going to wander off the screen later on. Um, but yeah, just add in some trees, okay, or some bushes or whatever you want, okay. Maybe a couple little tree stumps or something like that. That's what I'm going to do. Maybe we'll add in some, some sort of snowball things over here, okay, and we'll add in some of these rocks over here in the, in the sand area. And we'll add in some, some nice trees here. Make a little forest area. Just kind of add what you want. Give it some detail. Give it some life. Okay. Make it look nice. Add a little something, something to it. Um, that's the big thing. Okay. Um, but yeah, I think that looks pretty good. I think we've added some good detail. Uh, maybe we'll add something like maybe just a couple of these trees out here in this area yeah look at that okay and we've just got some little obstacles in our world here um, so when you're done with that i want you to go and rename this tile map obstacles okay and make sure it's selected so now we have two tile maps we have our background tile map and we have our obstacles tile map we need to apply something here to our obstacles tile map and that is a solid behavior so that when our character runs into it, they'll stop, okay? So we're gonna go to behaviors, we're gonna add a new behavior, and we're just gonna add solid to our obstacles tile map. Don't add it to your background tile map, okay? Now if I go back to my layers here, okay, I can now lock up my obstacles. So in this video, basically, we've just set up a nice little map, okay, for your character. Um, I think it looks nice. Pretty good little stuff here for you. Um, and in the next video, I'm going to show you how to actually set up your player character and get them moving around. Okay. And then the third video will add some animations. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.